Come on! There. That is not. Is. Is not. Is. Is not. Is not. Is. Not. Is. Stop it! Quite certain. Fine. Stop it! You don't Here know you what are. you're doing! Ha! Huh. There it is. No. You've done it now. He's... He's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him... He will take you where you need to go. Who are you? We are where we are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? <sighs> of course. Well, at least they left the piano. Booker. That's Comstock House. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. The Vox are coming! We need to leave the dock! Where are these people going? Wherever the Vox Populi ain't. Close your eyes and jump! You can do it! Come on, you can do it! Just jump! Jump! Honey, I can't do it! I cannot do it! I'm sorry! Found some money. Okay. You need to remove your belongings or we can't take any more people. The barge is full. You're going to have to remove some of your luggage if we're going to fit more people on deck. Boy, huh? Take it, take it all. What's this, a monocle? What am I gonna do?
More money. You unlock this? On it. What is it about that song that brings in the bird? It always has. When I was younger, I used to be excited when I heard it. Excited? He was all I had. He fed me. Brought me books. He was my friend. Friend? Until I grew up. And I hated him. Because he was my warden. He's just Comstock's pet, isn't he? Just like me. Done. Look at this. Fitzroy is no better than Comstock. Was she? Uh, once people get their blood up, it ain't easy to settle it down again. This is on our hands, isn't it? Elizabeth. No problem. There. Prophecy business. You don't think anyone can really see the future, do you? I, I saw something once when, when I first got here. A dream. It was New York, but larger than any New York I ever saw. It was burning. None of the prophet's magic is rubbing off on you. Look at this one. Do you think he wanted any part of this? <laughs> Did you? United by rage, down by blood! She invented the technology that allows the city to float. Giant balloons. Quantum particles. Suspended in space-time at a fixed height. So, not giant balloons? But the thing is, my book said they disappeared several years ago. I told you they'd come. No, you didn't. Right. 
I was going to tell you they'd come. But you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they'd come? No. The subjunctive. That's not the subjunctive. I don't think this syntax has been invented yet. It would have had to have been. Had to have had to. That can't be right. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Odd, isn't it? What's odd? The fact that we sometimes... Finish each other's sentences? Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit. Come on. Comstock House is up ahead. Prophet shall sit the throne. He was grooming me, wasn't he? Comstock? Yeah, I think so. Then why lock me up? I'm guessing you didn't want to be groomed. Maybe he had something in the works to make you agreeable. Like what? I think it's best we don't find out. I found some money. Want it? They'd stay on top forever. Ha, look at them now. Help me out with this lock? Seems easy enough. Got it. On to this? Anyone with a gun, anyone wearing glasses. Round up the rest. Mr. Comstock, when we next meet, it won't be the parlor. See, I went out to that hall of heroes to scalp your false shepherd for you. Turns out, though, DeWitt speaks Sue. He helped me to swap words with this crippled child I've been, uh, looking after. Now, after hearing how the kid has fared in your city, Seems right up your alley. I'm thinking when we take your pelt, I'll let him hold the knife. All yours.
lockpicked. <sighs> Child's play. There. Open fire! some money. Want it? Appreciate it. Yeah! 
Thanks. Go ahead. You bet. Elizabeth? Sure thing. Got it. Who wants okay. to die? Like hell. Ah, Do it through. now. Done. Lock when we pass through. We won't be able to return. <sighs> Here's some cash. That'll do. This. It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Well, let's hope we find one of those fools. This might be it. Why are you so keen on lock picking and code breaking? If you put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you 
promise me? I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right?
this open? Keep a lookout. There you go. Comstock House, Booker. Let's head back outside. More money. This one open? Come on. Give me something. Back there at the shop. What you asked me to do. Let's not discuss it. No. What did that thing do to you? If he were to take me back, that's death, Mr. DeWitt. Or something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. Unlock this? No problem. Ready. A code book. I don't know where the cipher is. Found some money. That'll do. Going to come back from this. Maybe a 
mentioned. Can you open this, Elizabeth? That won't take but a minute. All done. Better already. Want to hold on to this? and release to throw it back. Hold and release to create an explosive trap.
dear brother, these holes in the thin air continue to pay dividends. I know not which musician you borrow your notes from, but if he has half the genius of the biologist I now observe, well, then you are to be the Mozart of Columbia. Beyond that gate lies Comstock House. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you! Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. What is anarchy if not a knife in the back of our prophet? Booker. 
Another one! On it! Open. Keep a lookout. It's done. There's the graveyard. My mother's buried. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? There it is. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. Look on the other side. You see, child? You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray.
Elizabeth, are you all right? W where, where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of hand. Alive or dead? Why do you ask me? The delicious question is when? The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I noticed. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I just... I'm not so sure it was her. Elizabeth? Sure thing. All done. in there. 
Should I open it? Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. You are! That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. And Madame Lutas. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. That's a lie. Come again, you little bastard! I want her out of my house! Sterile. They weren't my parents. Then what were you to them? The child that they decided to imprison. She deserved whatever Comstock did to her. Between myself and her beloved prophet. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Um... I don't know.